how do you auto trace in SolidWorks? So this is a kind of one of those little hidden functions that's kind of neat. Let's take a look at how to do that. I'm going to go ahead, focus in on a single part here, and uh, first and foremost, just normal to that, um, auto trace we actually have to add in. So if we go into tools, add-ins, and under SOLIDWORKS add-ins here, there's this little utility called auto trace. And what this allows me to do is trace around a sketch picture. If you don't have this selected, you won't see the option to be able to do this. And to do it, we have to be in the sketch picture toolbar. So I'm going to start a sketch, and, uh, and then sketch pictures found under tools, sketch tools, sketch picture down there. We'll go ahead and just throw uh, our logo in there for now. Let this drop it on the screen. And then let's resize this. You know, I love this new sizing uh, arrow that we have. I can go ahead and just say that I want that line to be one inch long, and it resizes my entire picture for me. That's uh, handy. Okay. So I have the standard sketch picture icon items that I have over here, right? Transparency, size, rotation, things like that. But now that I have that add-in selected, I have a little next arrow up at the uh, top right corner of, of my dialog box. If I go in here, here's my trace settings. Okay? So I can change my image brightness if I want. Okay? I can change the contrast of the image, okay? what the recognition tolerance is, things like that. I found this easiest if you're zoomed in pretty close. And then we go ahead and just window around what we want to trace. Tell it to begin the trace and it's going to trace around those items. Okay. Um, won't be, it's not always perfect. I can go ahead and clean that up, but uh, any of these items, I can hit apply. That throws that on there, and now I can go ahead and grab another section. I'm just going to use rectangles. Okay. So you can see there's sketch lines around the T. Okay. Apply that, and you see those in green. In some cases, you may not get exactly what you expect. So, for example, if I grab these items here, um, a lot of people panic. I hit begin trace, and all of a sudden I get a couple ellipses. But all that is is it's just an ellipse matching these top two. So, again, not perfect, but it's actually getting me pretty close to what I want on the top and the bottom there. And then these two lines are vertical lines. Those are easy for me to, to sketch. So don't panic if you get you know, an ellipse or something you're uh, not, you know, not looking for. This is easy to trim up and fix when we're done. But that's the auto trace tool. Um, you know, go ahead, try it out, practice. Uh, it's a pretty neat utility to get a lot of our sketch geometry onto the screen. So that's how we auto trace in SolidWorks. Just, you know, the key thing to finding it is it's, it's got to be added in under tools, add-ins, and you find it in a sketch picture toolbar. Cool